What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing a Gemini Jets July 2021 release. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, uh, the box is so big because this is a wide body model. Uh, this is a uh, very wide body model. Uh, it's not uh, any of, sorry, technical difficulties. Uh, anyways, what I was saying was it wasn't any of the uh, small models, it wasn't the uh, 777s. This one is one that I've also highly been anticipating. Uh, Phoenix actually made uh, this model. I'll show you guys uh, when I open the box. I just did. Phoenix actually did make this model a few months ago, but I decided to wait for Gemini. And uh, yeah, here in this box is the uh, Coletta Air Boeing 747-400F. Now, uh, I like I said, I've been highly anticipating this model. I've been looking forward to Gemini Jets making this forever. And another reason uh, why I also got this model is not only because I need it for Stuart, uh, but because uh, Kalita occasionally fly charters to also um, Newark and Prague sometimes, which is really rare, but Prague sometimes and then Newark sometimes. But um, yeah, um, it is in the flaps down configuration. Uh, I decided to go for this one rather than the regular one just because, I don't know, it, it feels more collectible. But uh, yeah, before we actually open uh, the box to take a look at the model, let's take a look at the outside of the box. So, taking a look at the outside of the box, we have the uh, Gemini Jets logo, uh, made for collectors by collectors, the clip out of the aircraft, flaps down, Boeing 747-400F, Collider Air, it's a 1-400 scale, uh, scale die cast model aircraft. Uh, this paper will put away because that is for me from Panda Fox Toys. Um, that's where I ordered it, by the way. And uh, yeah, let's look on the inside. Looking on the inside of the model, this is the flap. You guys can pause the video to read it. Okay, and that was the flap. And uh, looking on the side of the box, it's normal Gemini Jets. Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale. Uh, on the sides of the box, it just says flaps down. The clip out of the aircraft type of aircraft. Gemini Jets. Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale die cast model. It's basically a normal Gemini Jets model besides for it saying flaps down. And uh, looking at it uh, on the back, that's really all it is to it. It just shows the clip out of the aircraft as well as it gets it all the advertisement stuff for Gemini Jets, so why you should get Gemini Jets and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, here you have the trademark, and of course this is a 2021 uh, release by Gemini Jets. Now, like I kept on saying, and I keep on saying, is I, I, I highly anticipate this model because this is my first 747. But uh, yeah, I'll stop babbling, and now let's take a look at the inside of this wonderful model. And uh, Wow, this, this looks really, really good, but it's just generic Gemini just packaging, that's not what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the actual model, wow, this is good, is, uh, is that, I mean, it's, it's good quality, you know what, I'll take it, uh, this is good quality from Gemini Jets, and, uh, yeah, uh, that being said, let's get on to the detail segment for this model. Starting off with the detail segment for this beautiful model, we have the nose of the aircraft, which is painted in Coletta Air's uh, 747 mask livery. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, now I'm going to say it. Uh, this is in their mask livery, as you guys can see. Uh, I do think that I forgot to mention it before, so I do apologize for that. But uh, yeah, uh, moving on down the aircraft, we have the cockpit windows, L1 door on the bottom of the aircraft. Uh, forward landing gear and on the landing gear it says 744 which i'm obviously thinking it's referring to the type of aircraft that it is which is a uh, 744 freighter but uh, yeah moving on down the aircraft we have the uh, i think this is the l2 door on the second deck i believe it is uh, i'll have to check on that but i uh, guess yeah, for now i'm gonna call it the l2 door on the second deck um we have a bunch of more windows on the second deck and then we have an antenna uh, and here we have handwriting, which is too small. I cannot read it. Um, I think it's supposed to be the name of the aircraft, uh, but it, it, it's absolutely small. It's my, my, my eyes just can't read it. But, uh, yeah, anywho, moving on down the aircraft, it's, uh, we have, uh, Clitter Air's beautiful logo. And, uh, on the bottom of the aircraft, 
uh, down, sorry, on the bottom of the fuselage, we have the uh, massive cargo door, the registration, which is number 744 Charlie Kilo and 744 CK. And on the back of the aircraft, we of course have the tail. Wait a second. Sorry for the mishap. I, th I thought that there was something wrong with the paint of the model, but it wasn't. I was just seeing things, but uh, yeah. Anyways, like I was going to say, uh, on the uh, tail of the aircraft, it just shows Kaleta's livery, which is a white, red, golden, and uh, red stripe livery. And uh, yeah, now that uh, we've taken a look at the left side of the fuselage, let's look at the right side of the fuselage to see the differences. Now, uh, the differences uh, are pretty subtle. Uh, the right side of the aircraft is missing a cargo door as uh, per its real life counterpart and rather than having a massive cargo door in the back we have uh, three we have two in the back as you guys can see here and uh, one up towards the front but other than that the right side of the aircraft is virtually identical to the left side of the aircraft but uh, yeah now that we've taken a look at the fuselage let's take a look at how Gemini just did on the wings of this beautiful model but uh yeah anyways uh, let's take a look at the engines. The engines actually have a lot of detail. Uh, the fan blades have a lot of detail. The slats, for the most part, look pretty correct uh, in their proportion to the winglets. And the um, flaps on the back here of the aircraft, they look pretty nice considering the fact that this is a 1-400 to model. Uh, this looks pretty nice. So, uh, I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna commend Gemini. This is a pretty good job on Gemini's part. But, uh, yeah, anywho, uh, let's take a look at the winglets. The winglets on the aircraft have, um, here, it has uh, the same thing as on Kalita's tail, on the Kalita 744's tail, in which it has this sort of stripe design, white, uh, red, uh, golden, yellow, red, uh, and it's on the outside and the inside of the winglets. But, uh, yeah, and uh, now, uh, before we move on to the bottom of the aircraft, we have to take a look at whether the wings are level. Gemini does have a habit of uh, doing this thing where they don't make the wings level, and did they do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The wings in this model, you know what? I think I, I, this, the slats are good, but look at this. This, it's mech quality from Gemini Jets. Uh, the right wing is higher than the left wing. I don't know, Gemini. I don't know. This is, on the one hand, it's very good with the flaps and the slats, but then on the other hand, it's bad because, you know, the wings aren't level. But uh, yeah, now let's take a look at the bottom of the fuselage. Taking a look at the bottom of the model, we have the four landing gear and we have the four sets of four uh, landing gear each. Now, uh, these do uh, tilt. Albeit not that well, especially the middle ones. Uh, as you guys can see here, it's it's kind of crooked the way they tilt, but when it's on the ground, it is not noticeable. And uh, I like what Gemini actually did. They actually added a bit more detail by adding these. These are, I think, they're supposed to be vents. And the interesting thing about this is the fact that uh, you can actually feel the indents. Uh, the indentation indentation yeah that's how you say it. you can actually feel the indentation uh of the vents on the aircraft so that's something that i honestly do think is pretty cool but uh yeah moving on down the aircraft we have the Gemini Jets logo and that's pretty much all it is to the fuselage of the aircraft and then of course you have the bottom of the wings now the wings the bottom of the wings look dirty uh i don't know if this is from this is not for me this is yeah, this is from Gemini. This is Gemini's fault. There's, there's there's dirt on the wings, even though that I've been in a completely clean place. Like the table that I'm on right now is clean, but uh, that's Gemini's fault. But whatever, it's 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 very slightly noticeable. But uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude this detail segment. That really all that's really all there is uh, to this wonderful Clita Air 747-400F model. In the future, I honestly do hope that Gemini Jets will make more of these models because honestly, if this is the first generation of a 1-400 to scale model in the flaps down configuration, imagine what a third or fourth generation would look like. Now that, that would be pretty cool as Gemini Jets kind of would refine uh, how they make these flaps down models in 1-400 to scale. But uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on that notification bell for future videos. And comment down below what you guys think of uh, my video formats and uh, if you guys would want me to change anything about the way how I film and or make my videos. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
as always, goodbye.